Hello, hello, I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you are growing your own online business or creative business, be sure to subscribe to follow along. In today's video, I am continuing on with my Flowdesk email marketing series. Now we've so far gone through how to set up your Flowdesk account, how to set up your branding as well as your branded email templates on Flowdesk. And then we've gone through through the three different ways to start collecting your emails from your audience. The first way is to create a landing page. The second way is to create a pop-up to embed onto your show website. And the third way is to create an inline form embedded into your show website. Now you have your vehicle to start actually collecting those emails, but how do you actually get someone interested in filling out that form and giving you their email address. Now, as some of you may know, I am a brand designer and a show at website designer. And a lot of my clients are content creators, copywriters, coaches, and other online entrepreneurs who love to provide free, valuable content to their audience. And in fact, that is actually one of the easiest ways to start growing your email list is to start providing free, valuable content in exchange for your audience's email address. So essentially your audience will be signing up for your email newsletter in order to get that freebie into their emails. But oftentimes my clients get really stuck on how to actually create that workflow on Flowdesk. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through the step-by-step -step on how you actually create that workflow so that you can automatically deliver a freebie once someone signs up for your email newsletter. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Flowdesk yet to start creating your email marketing strategy, then be sure to use the links in my description. You'll get your first month of Flowdesk for free and then the rest of your first year for 50 50% off. It is the best deal that you can get. So be sure to use the link and don't pay full price for Flowdesk. All right, when you're ready, let's hop onto my laptop and let's create that workflow to deliver your freebie. Oh, hello, editor Cheryl here, popping in to let you guys know some incredible news. It is official. This video is kindly sponsored by Flowdesk. Now you guys already know if Cheryl wasn't sponsored, for this video, she would have filmed it anyways because we have both been loving and trusting Flowdesk for Made on Sundays for the past two years already. So if you haven't signed up for Flowdesk yet and you are hoping to create an email marketing strategy for your business, then head to the links in the description below to try out Flowdesk's features for completely free for the first month and 50% off your first year of subscription. This is the best deal you can get. So do not pay full price and head to the links below to grab that discount. All right, without further ado, let's head back into Cheryl's laptop and let's create that Flowdesk workflow. All right, hello, welcome to my laptop. We are now logged into my Flowdesk account. And I've just clicked into, well, when you first sign into Flowdesk, you'll probably see like this page right here. So at this point, we have created an audience. Um, if you haven't seen the previous videos, you really need to watch the previous videos first. Um, in order to create a workflow, you need to have an audience segment created. Make sure that you have created a segment for that freebie audience specifically, and then we can head into creating the workflow. All right, so we're gonna click into workflow here and we are gonna click on new workflow. All right, and then let's see. So there are a lot of different workflow templates um, here to choose from. And so if you want, you can just read through it and just pick the one that's right for you. So for us, we are doing a freebie. So a lead magnet delivery here, and we're just gonna take a look at this one and we are going to customize this. All right. All right, so first things first, um, how you kind of view this is it's kind of like a workflow tree, I guess. And so you tell basically Flowdesk what's going to happen uh, if a certain thing is created or, or maybe a day goes by and what happens. So the first thing is you need to add your trigger. So we're gonna click on trigger here and we are gonna choose the only one that's available, a subscriber is added into the specific segment. And we're gonna choose that segment that we created earlier. So freebie example. 
So basically what you're telling Flowdesk at this moment is if someone is added into this freebie example segment, this is what's going to happen. So this is going to be the next step. So we are going to edit this and um, basically do what you need to do to style this page. Um, for example, you can, you know, change up the fonts to make it, you know, exactly like your branding. I'm not going to go through this too much right now because um, you can probably I'm just going to add this here. You can add an image of your freebie. We've already gone through like the branding process in a previous video. So go to that video to kind of see what are the different things that you can do to kind of style this page. Um, but I'm just going to leave it at here. I'm going to remove uh, this right here and I'm just going to add a button here for them to download. So you can uh, right here is a button and I'm going to name this um, download your freebie. And then again, you can like style this however you want. I'll just change the color for this tutorial. All right. And then you are basically going to be able to link something to this freebie uh, button right here. So you can either link it to, let's say if it's a video, a YouTube video, then you can link the YouTube video here. If your freebie is a PDF, you can upload your PDF to, let's say a Google doc drive and then put the Google doc drive link here, or you can actually click on attach file right here and attach the actual file into this um, section. So I don't have a PDF file here, but just let's say I am delivering this PNG image right here. Then you can just upload that file right here. And when someone clicks on this, they're going to get that PDF download. All right. I'm going to remove this and I'm just going to put my name here. Oops. And this looks great. So you definitely want to style this a little bit better than what you see here. Uh, but let's just say this is all good. We are going to check the mobile version. You always want to check the mobile version to make sure that everything is legible and it still looks really good on mobile. And if everything looks good, we are going to go to finish and you want to make sure at this point you're not done yet. You still need to write the subject line. So, so you can say something like your freebie is here. Um, and then maybe add a little emoji or something. And then this is the preview text. So when you read an email, usually you'll see like the subject line and then right underneath the subject line, you'll see kind of like a grayed out preview text. I always like to give a little bit more about what's inside this email. So for example, this email, they're going to be getting a freebie. So maybe you can say something like download your freebie right now and then something like that, just to give them a little bit more context into what is within this email. Um, and then that's it. So at this point you can exit. Um, so this is all good. This will end the workflow. So basically what will happen is your client or whoever will enter the segment and then immediately they will get this email. Now, if you don't want them to get this email right away, you can add things in between these um, different workflows. So you can either add another email, you can add a time delay, you can add a condition, you can add an action. Um, let's say after this email, you want them to get the freebie, right? And then maybe you wait a day. I'm going to add a time delay and you can do different kinds of periods of time. So for me, I usually do like days. So let's say they wait two days and then they're going to receive another email. So you can add another email here. You can either duplicate one of your existing emails. So if you have a template or something, you can use one of those or you can create a brand new email. Um, so in here you can say like, you know, after two days, maybe they get a call to action to take one of your courses, or maybe you want to do a little nurture series after they get the freebie. Maybe you start sending them emails about, 
um, how to use our freebie in a really great way or different ways to use your freebie in their business or in their life. So maybe you wanna add a couple more steps to this workflow. Um, you can go ahead and do that right now. And then at the end, they will, basically this workflow will end. All right, so at this point, you can add whichever steps you need to add into this workflow, make sure it ends. Um, and then we are ready to publish. So just click on publish and um, publish now, and that workflow will be live. So meaning if you go back to your show website or wherever you created your uh, opt-in, whether it was a pop-up form, an inline form, or a landing page, all of the three ways that we have learned in the past on how to um, you know, invite people into your email newsletter, if one of those people enter into this specific segment that you have created, then they will be added into this workflow and they will get their freebie. All right, and that is how you create a workflow on Flowdesk to deliver a freebie when someone signs up for your email newsletter. I hope that was helpful, and if it was, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. By the way, if you have any other questions about Flowdesk or email newsletters or Flowdesk with Showit, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I will either answer them in the comments or I would love to extend this series um, to include more content about email marketing with Flowdesk. And at this point, if you haven't signed up for Flowdesk yet, what are you waiting for? Head to the links in the description below and you'll get your first month of Flowdesk for completely free and then your first year of Flowdesk subscription for 50% off. Do not pay full price for it. This is the best deal you can get. So head to the links in the description below. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. <laughs>